I really wish we had an idea for our science project. Me too. Maybe a candy break will help? Actually, how many layers do you think are in a jawbreaker? Let's find out. To the lab. Hi, Nord Anglia. I'm Paula Hammond, and I'm a chemical engineer. Professor Hammond is one of the coolest people you'll ever meet. She works at the Koch Institute at MIT, which is a cancer research center that brings together scientists and engineers to come up with new ways to fight cancer. In our work, we create these nanoparticles which contain different drugs in different layers. But what is a nanoparticle? Nanoparticles are extremely tiny. So if we think about the thickness of one of our hairs, Imagine slicing that hair 100 times, and now that slice is the size of our nanoparticle. We wrap a layer around that particle, and each time we do this, we add some new function to the nanoparticle. When we expose these nanoparticles to the right part of the body, then those drugs come off of the particle in layers in reverse. You can picture these nanoparticles as jawbreakers. Each layer of the candy represents a different layer surrounding the nanoparticle. <laughs> Professor Hammond wants to use these layered nanoparticles to help heal people. When we make these layered systems, we often make them to address cancer. We start with a nanoparticle, and inside we put a drug that we know will kill a cancer cell. But a lot of cancer cells have become resistant. So what we can do is wrap our nanoparticle with another layer that actually turns off the ability of those cells to resist the drug. Can you think of other tiny innovations that have a big impact on your life? Or an example of layers working together. How about a microchip to help find your lost pets? Or the layers of a water filter? A water filter! That's a great idea for our science project! Oh yeah! Hey Nordanglia, here's your challenge. Think about solving a problem by creating something incredibly small, very tiny, or something that has layers, where the different layers have different functions. Then think about what you would do with your creation. Would you use it for human health? Would you use it to help save the world and the planet? Maybe climate or energy? Or maybe just something really cool, something that you would love to have. You can focus on making something small. Or something layered. For an extra challenge, try doing both, just like Professor Hammond's research. Get creative. Typically, when we're thinking about these ideas, this happens in groups. By talking to others in our field, by talking to each other, we collect ideas. It's all of that conversation, all of that interaction that allows us to think much more broadly we think bigger when we're talking with others. Talk to others about how you might tackle this challenge. They might just make your ideas even bigger and better. Or smaller, in the case of nanoparticles. Ooh, we should add a silver nanoparticle layer to our filter. Great idea. But first, a candy break. Even better idea. Can't wait to see what you do. Go for it, Nordanglia. Ooh. Man. <laughs>